What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Jad here from Puma Plot Place. We're captain of industry. Let's get to it. All right. So currently down here in the copper mine, uh, I have finally connected the the coal mine to the copper mine. They are connected now, which is, I mean, it was a lot of digging for no reason because there was no material that I needed between. But hey, yellow. If anything, it's actually killing my trucks. Because uh, my trucks are having to go all the way around the world instead of cutting through. Because this was a major, major, major cut through. I wish I could build a bridge. How cool would a bridge be? Just like plop a bridge right here. Like a, you know, a couple lanes wide. I know we have these other bridges. But like, I don't think you can span a gap with, with one of these, you know? It's got to be on like solid. But how cool would that be if you could actually put a bridge across here? It'd be sick. Would it be sick? Uh, but anyway, so currently we are digging uh, down here on coal. And uh, we've basically finished over here. There is a little bit of coal in the in the wall still, but it's like... It wasn't worth my time to grab because I was I was running. I was out of coal. Like, not, not running out. I was, I was out of coal and I still don't have... Um like any coal here really i mean i have some at the various places but i don't have a lot um this conveyor belt by the way i realized this last night that conveyor belt holds almost 1900 that big bin only holds 2100 so conveyor belt holds as much almost yeah uh -huh, as the whole thing uh but as far as copper uh, copper, copper, copper. I ran out of copper ore last night, which is bad. But we're looking pretty solid now because we have electronics. Uh, we're making parts. We're recouping our parts and everything. Um, so it looks like we're doing okay now. I hope. Set up a ship for coal. I don't don't need that though, Trent. I have. I want to get this mine done. But I got to come all the way down here with this mine still. So, I don't, I don't want to ship it in yet. I When I get maybe up to this other coal mine, I could see shipping. Like, in the meantime of, like, that's probably what I'll do. In the time that I'm, like, coming up here to dig a ramp and stuff, then I'll bring a ship of coal in. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to do that. But we're also working on uh, iron now, or uh, copper. And I definitely, like I said, ran out of copper. I have a conveyor belt for copper now uh, that goes up the hill. And then a big bin right here. So the guys that have copper, they don't have to go very far. And they're right back. The problem is I'm getting a lot of dirt and stone and the stuff that I don't necessarily want. But it's part of digging out uh, a mine. You're going to get the stuff you don't want. You just kind of have to deal with it, you know. So it's all good. It is what it is. Um, that's why we have a lot of trucks down here because some of the trucks are having to go pretty far uh, for dirt. I'm still dumping dirt out. Well, I actually started dumping dirt out here. I guess my theory was if, if need be, I could dump dirt out and then maybe up and then maybe dig the rock out and replace it with dirt if need be for farmland. But I actually, my farms are all like overwhelmed. I, I need to fix stuff there. It's kind of, everything's backed up. We have more fertilizer than we know what to do with. Organic fertilizer, that is. Um, we have compost that we don't know what to do with. We're actually dumping compost uh, again back in the ocean. Uh, still digging here on iron. And I have gone down several layers, by the way. We talked about this the other day. Was there still iron down here? So we've gone from a 13 down to an 11 or 17. Yeah, 13 down to 17. And it's still showing like there's iron in there. When they dig, though, they don't get like anything. So I'm taking off a couple extra layers, kind of for no reason now. That's okay. That tree has gone all the way down into the to the mine, by the way. It's kind of funny. So they're uh, they're kind of slow right now too because they're getting into getting a bunch of dirt and stuff um, as well. But if we look on the chart, I, I don't know if I'll get this iron here, but you know we're still within iron here, and then we'll have to bump out and get all this iron up here eventually, but. Fine for now. Um, what else have I had? Oh, I had to add water up here, by the way. I had the water, the groundwater pumps, which, of course, is going to be yeah, replenished now. 
I was down to like 10% yes, last night. So I definitely had to add some uh, desalination uh, up here. And uh, that's working well. And, and it just so happened that I had, you know, one saltwater pump over here. And I just add a couple more and then put a couple out pipes for the for the no-no water. And uh, we're good there. Uh, in fact, I probably could add more uh, power up here if need be. We're doing okay on our power as long as everything has water and, you know, fuel and stuff. We're doing all right. Uh, Research-wise, I don't really know... We're kind of stuck on research right now, to be honest. Nothing in here is going to let me do it, so. Yeah. We need, we need, we need to find stuff. We need stuff. We need stuff. That's what it comes down to. Uh, another thing, though, we should probably upgrade the rest of town here. Be, uh, we need all the employees we can get right now. In fact, is the beacon on? The beacon is on. Right, let's send our ship out and I need to um, keep sending the ship out as much as possible because that's how you you know you get stuff and and whatnot so yeah okay so down here on this oil thing okay we're not quite built out all the way we're still waiting on some parts to get down here the biggest problem right now is my trucks are just extremely busy um, with all the mining operations that we have going and trying to clear and, you know, get, get our coal supply built back up, get our copper supply built back up, all that stuff. So our trucks are extremely busy and it's to the point now where they're not really building anything. We have 24, 24 trucks that are available to run stuff around, but that's really not that much. Like I bet our food supply up here is suffering. Uh, actually, food supply is doing okay. There's potatoes, room for potatoes, of course, but, but yeah, so probably need to take like sand trucks. We have too many trucks on sand, obviously, because don't really need that many on sand. You could free up an excavator as well. Limestone, that's probably okay. They're clearing out a bunch of sand. Um, iron, probably take a truck or two away from iron. Uh, I did get in a situation yesterday where I ran out of iron, so that was like all hands on deck kind of thing. And then uh, down here in the coal mine, problem is we're just not building our coal supply back up. Uh, they're in coal. They're in good coal. Problem is you got all this dirt on top of here that they have to get out of here as well. And uh, where dirt is going is pretty pretty darn far away so that's kind of a problem as well i kind of wouldn't mind finding somewhere closer just to stockpile dirt maybe like right here actually i don't know because that's gonna get dug out i don't know i need to find somewhere closer that's that's kind of killing me right now is the haul it away of the dirt it's so far away i mean stone's right here so that's not a problem i don't really want to fill in dirt in the ocean i'd rather not do that here anyway that would look really really weird if i started dumping dirt there uh but i don't really have anywhere to dump dirt as of right now i mean i guess i could dump here but not that much farther from where i'm where i'm dumping currently uh but anyway on this oil thing here i've had to pause everything as you can tell or a lot of it because the amount of employees oh doggy it's real it's real Maybe remove the coal pile. The one up on top here. This here. That will get removed uh, eventually. From the bottom. Yeah. I just got to keep mining towards it. That's all. Because that's all coal underneath there too. Like there's a layer of dirt and then more coal. So. Yeah. I mean I could if I, if I really desperately, desperately needed coal. I guess I could run people up there. Um, I could run excavators up here and start working on it. I've done it before. But all that's coal underneath there, too. I know it's hard to tell with the, the digging area, but it's all coal underneath there, too. So it's kind of one of them things, you know. Oh, by the way, we have the ability for um, gold now. We have the ability for gold. Not that 
I can get to my gold right now, but we do have the ability uh, for gold. I probably need to take a minute here and just free up a bunch of trucks so that they can go do their thing. Um, like over here, we we have a okay. So between the bin, the bin, and that bin, we're we're sitting pretty good there. Um, so if we take a bunch of these trucks real quick and just free them up, we'll bring another excavator though. Free a bunch of these up really fast, just to get some work done around the around the homestead here. That would be nice. It would be nice. Is Goaty leaving? Hi, Goaty. Um, but yeah, we just need to like let trucks run. And and honestly, I'm still recovering from all the parts it took to build this. It was very parts heavy to build all of this, obviously. Uh very, 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 very expensive. So what are you gonna do? It happens. I gotta watch my employees up there not to uh unpause all of this and let the employees run out. Because yeah, there we go. We're up against that now. Not enough workers. Not enough workers. You don't have enough. We will. Bring out him. I'm sorry, Goaty. Hey, start a new map on Saturday, Goat. All of a sudden, now we need 32 workers. How does that happen, chat? We've actually got some stuff built out, huh? There we go. Yep, we're doing uh, we're doing captain for right now on Thursdays. I don't know what I'm playing tomorrow night. I'll be fully honest. I don't know. And then uh, new map uh, farms them on Saturday. You have seen it downloaded? Okay. Wow, look at that. John was ahead. I I got everything done already. Chat for the record. Everything is done for the new map. saying saves up everything's good to go man i actually want to play i think i'm going to jump in there tonight and and do a contract just to make sure everything working well i did a lot of tweaking on uh, auto drive so all i know goody is we're going to need some horsepower that's all I know, buddy. We are going to need some serious, serious horsepower on on there. That's all I know. Rax, what's up? All right. I know we don't have enough workers. I know we don't have a cargo ship. We don't have this. We don't have that. I know, game. I know. I know. Volvo Rax, maybe. Maybe go. Since they fixed that one, the like American looking one, they finally fixed it. So we could try it out. I'm cool with it. How much do you end up with rocks? Why is that? I don't. Okay. All right. Oh, we're fighting now, chat. We fighting. Get some. Hey, please shoot. Him. Please. Uh, Goaty, you said that, not me. Okay. <laughs> you said it, goat, not me. How about that, buddy? Okay, so see our trucks are uh, stable, so we'll bring a couple more down here and get working down yonder here. Gotta pause a bunch of this stuff, though, because we're out of workers. I don't know how we're ever going to actually um, unpause all this. Dirty Josh, what's up? John, how you doing? Wind in the drifts, okay. I got your ox. All 
No plans. Oh. Yep, gotta have that air compressor for them CNCs. You betcha. That's fun. Alright, we're gonna repair that vessel so we can get a boat for, uh... Although we should have a boat somewhere. I think it's just because we don't have stuff, uh... Hooking down there. Um... Up, up. Look at it. Repair the vessel. Repair it. Okay, so this gives us our quartz stuff. Which I don't really care about right now, I guess. I don't... Yeah, I don't think I really do. What does that go into? Oh. Yeah. I just really want to get this uh, oil refining underway down here, you know? That's what I would like to do. That's okay. Not so good today, Jerry. Josh, I'm sorry. What's going on, man? What's up? What? Er. Uh, Wallert, I don't actually know. I don't know. Good afternoon, Bert. I don't know what Sean about. Steam for what? My goodness, build. Everything is so slow right now because everything's broken. Ah, I'm out of parts too. I'm out of parts. I really, 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 really. Yeah, the blueprints from the website. Yeah. It should be a lot. That's all I know is it should be a lot. Need steam to run, does it, Bert? Okay, Josh, all good, man. Bert, I'm assuming it's going to make its own steam at some point. Or do I need, like, a steam input to kick it off? Is that what it is? I don't know yet. I'm going to be honest. That's fine. We can, we can arrange some steam. Uh, the blueprint is this bad boy right here. The 570. Oh my god, it lags so hard when you pop it in your game. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, uh, that's the thing. See, I gotta figure out, like, what are these pipes? Um, I'm not totally sure on the inputs on this thing, to be honest. Need steam all the time to make it work. Okay. Well, I could put some, uh, I could put something in to make, make me some steam eventually here. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the whole thing personally. That's not what I wanted. Here we go. Put that the Dysel. Dysel? Dysel. I didn't see it. Keep that puppy full, like. Priority two, okay. Go. Go fight Hey Win. Uh but yeah, we're we're just like short on parts right now, so we're just kind of chilling chat. Waiting for uh waiting for parts, you know. Oh, he needs steam to kick it. Yeah. This is not the blueprint. This is the blueprint from um from that website the the website that they have sarge sent me the household good one which isn't much of a thing but he sent me that one um he sent me this power uh generation and what else did he send me i don't know what else he sent me he might have sent no no that's my glass one yeah that's, i think that's it it's all good. It's all good. Doesn't make steam. Okay. All right. 
That so that's actually part of what I need to figure out is like where do I need to plug in the oil? Because I'm gonna have oil here. Okay, obviously we're gonna have oil there. We're having a fuel issue somewhere, but that's fine. Um so we kinda have to follow like where's this pipe go? What does this pipe connect to? What does this pipe need? This pipe connects to right there, which connects to that. So that's crude oil, right? Or it could be steam. No, that's crude because here's the steam pipe right here. There's a steam pipe right there, right? So that would lead me to believe that that's a crude oil pipe. Been following the quest line. What? No. I don't know. But what I'm getting at is like, okay, when this pipe connect, well, actually, here, we can just do this. This is even easier. Well, see, that doesn't tell me, though. I was hoping that would tell me what that is. But anyway, there's three inputs over here and uh, an output. Need to figure out what they are. One of them is definitely water. Yeah, there it was, Goaty. Um, let's see, where was that at? Yeah, so this this pipe, it's, which one is it now? This pipe right here. So this pipe is going to be our crude oil input. Okay, we know that. We're going to say that's crude oil input. This pipe goes right here, which connects to there. And that's also crude oil input. Okay. So that, oh, that looks like that's going to be crude oil. And then this one goes all the way down yonder and that that's an output isn't it so that's our fuel output so we probably i don't know that we'll actually use that one right away to go anywhere that's an output from the big fuel tank okay so that that makes sense okay so that's fuel output so we don't necessarily need that one right now and then this one just goes right here to this thingy doofer which goes into here or that pipe goes it's that's a water one because there's water coming out of this pipe right here which goes into there so i'm going to say that's water that goes into there which goes into there connects into into this pipe which connects into here so that's going to be uh that's going to be water Okay, so that's going to be water. So we need to get water over here, right? We need to get water over here. That's the big thing, is water. Yeah, so where do we... Where do we input steam? Plug it in to fuel the ship. That's not a terrible idea, Trent, actually. Um, where do we input steam? Because over here, output, output, input, outputs. Well, wait, why? I don't. That needs to probably get set on empty, right? Because they're hauling fuel gas from somewhere else into there. I don't think we. I don't know. We're, we'll see. We will see, chat. Up, 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 up. Show you the boilers. They're right here. That's a boiler. There, there's gonna be all of them down the down the line here. They run on fuel gas. They should. We have fuel gas. Why is it not getting over here? Uh, ba, 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 ba. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Another boiler over here, too. Boilers everywhere. Boiler, boilers everywhere. So basically, we just need to pipe up some crude oil in this bad boy. And... But, yeah. Uh, yeah, just turn that off, and then we can... 
Okay, so basically what this comes down to, y'all, is uh, we're just going to hook up crude oil here and here, and then we need to hook up water here, which I don't really know where I have extra water over here. Um, I don't really have water over here at all, to be honest. Uh, this is my closest water, but it's actually not even enough to like keep up with the farms hardly. So maybe we need to uh, improve our water system over here a little bit before we go over there. That's what I'm thinking, y'all. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm going to jump into TeamSpeak, though. I see Sarge is in there now, so... Sarge will probably have some input for me. Help me along the way here, right? Sound Hello? Hello? What up? Hey, what's going on? Uh, not much. I was just trying to get this fuel system going, Sarge. Yeah. So you could just bump it out of the sea since you're right there. I don't know if that one that one pipe you're wondering about. I don't know if that's a steam input or a water input. Or... Well, I mean the blue one. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's the blue like one's water, water because it hooks up to this uh, balancer, yeah. and this pipe right here coming out of this uh, thing you do for is water. Because yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna say that's a water input, and then this is a fuel output, and then these two are oil inputs. Maybe have the a little bit of water to kick it burn, off. Uh, Wait, what about the boilers? Fuel oil, right? They're set One to the burn fuel gas. Okay. And That's I think your steam generator, right? The there. only reason I had fuel gas here is because that was set to accept it. And my, my trucks hauled it down here. Uh, they should be hauling it over here to make it. Uh, it should be going right into actually making diesel out of it over here. They just called it because it was closer. That's the only reason there was anything there. But the problem is I got to get water over here. Yeah. The jump each one of them unless they're tied together. Yeah, bird, I don't know. And I don't really know how I jump start them because, like, um, you can't get trucks into anything here. So I don't know how that works. The... I mean Sometimes you, you can reach them magically. I don't know. Power plant or the generator setup I sent you, where, where is that located in reference to? Oh, way up here, which I had to fix that too because nothing was wrong with that. I just ran out of water up here. So I put okay. in a whole bunch of desalination up here too. Yeah, because the way I have that set up, yeah, I have that, my, uh, uh, mine is set up to where it runs on the depleted steam. Oh, I got you. And if there's excess of that, then it goes to the uh, cooling towers. On this? Yeah, so you, where the depleted steam comes off on yours to the cooling mm -hmm. tower, yeah. I have a, um, a balancer there that primarily will send everything over to uh, oh to your the to desalters. Your... I got gotcha. you. Oh yeah, see, and I have my own. If there's excess left, then it goes to cool. Oh, because you're right. It does run off of that, doesn't it? It yeah. will run off of that. It's not as efficient as a yeah. higher pressure steam, but it's yeah an unused byproduct. That's true. Not... I just know that I really, 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 really had to get water up here last night, so I just had yeah. to like. Yeah, no, I had to I do you. whatever I could do to get water up here last night. Let's put it that way. Okay, here you go. We'll just change the, the the electric boilers, okay? I don't know how that's efficient at all, for the record. Uh, I don't know either. I don't think it is, but anyway. Electric boiler to burn water to... Yeah. Make power I think what I'm going to do is my... I have... strong now with town water backing up i was just kind of curious on how far away that was so super far yeah i think what i'll do just to get water over here is probably just increase this system because i kind of made it so that I, I i could increase this system if need be yeah. i don't know why i left things the way i did over here so james what's going on man how are you um so if we just uh increase this system by like you know fair amount or just you know double the system that's here how about that 
because I actually don't have enough water over here. Like, I had farms running out of water, so I put a couple tanks in here. And I've actually reversed the pipe as well, which it's not getting much water. It's only getting from, like, this one rain catcher, but... Um, Groundwater is, is great, but it's not super, like, you run out too, way too fast on groundwater, I feel like. Just saying. Way too fast on groundwater. But hey, what do I know? Up. Oh, if you have a lot of solar burnt, I could see that, yeah. I could see that. Otherwise, I just don't see the... Uh, Electrical ones being like worth a darn. To be honest. Alright, I'm gonna run these around. And, uh. What's it called? Have a separate input pipe. Because these are doing, what, 120 per, and I only. does 450s, so technically, yeah, I need another. Uh, pipe here, and really, I can just. Need to go way up there with it, do I? Speaking of pipe, did you get my reference about the hose? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Hey, I ripped it earlier. Oh. The air conditioning hose, right? Yeah. I got you. And then the steam generation part, there's plenty of. Plenty of steam there, I would assume. I mean, I put more boilers on it. Plenty of capacity in the pipes is what I'm getting at. Plus, well, so you got room to add more if needed. Yep. That's kind of why I left the system like I did the other day. Just, like, plenty of extra room for um, everything. That was kind of my goal here, you know? Ow. By the way, chat, the uh, the tractor, the engine now has a head on it at the, at the farm there. Oh, nice. A little water's head. Is another hangnail? No, dude, everything's good. But we we got the it's head like, on there yesterday. It's like was... whenever you work on that tractor, you get a hangnail. No, it's not from that. Okay, this is, let's see. We got to get rid of the, the no-no water, right? No, no water is the top pipe. Okay, so we'll plug, plug, plumb in all the bottom ones first. How much water are we actually get out of this? Not a lot. Can you use that like no, no water on that fuel process to burn it? No. It's not that bad of water. Well, you said no, no water. Yeah, but it's not like it's not like the worst water. All the way down. It, Which it's, one's that? It's the what was it? The brine or whatever? I think it's oh, the brine. Yeah. 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 You can put that back in the ocean without getting in trouble. Therefore, yeah, it's, it's not that bad. It's just saltier. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. Not a big deal. Think of it like the the the, <laughs> the pre-treat they put down on the roads. <laughs> Basically, what it is. Yeah, we don't have that up here. We just have salt. No. You don't get the pre-treat? Uh-uh. Really? Yep. Not surprised by that. Oh. All right. That's why get... my uh, truck bed's falling off. Well, it's salt brine. So basically what they do is they take salt and they take water and they dilute the salt back into the, wa into the water. And they make a super salty water and then they put that on the road. Sure can, Bert. And uh, chlorine, too. From it. Uh, which, actually, that's a pretty slick system, so it, it you know, puts the, the priority over here to this stuff, obviously. And then, uh, you know, the excess, it just, you know, helps out here in the ocean. Which, really, I don't know if I need... This is a, it's nowhere near capacity, but we can put one more in. Even your town, pre-treats, that's your rocks. I can't, I can't stand that stuff. That stuff is so bad. So bad. And then we probably need to put in at least another boiler, right? 
I see, I say that there's not enough water, and then everything's over here full right now. Well, could you use uh, that excess brine or and ship that over to your fuel? For what? Here are the uses for it, Trent. I can make chlorine, I can make salt, I can make salt. I can use it in the process for cleaning my uh, sewage. That's nowhere near where I'm at. So that's I all I you can use, use that for your fuel depot that you're making. No. Oh. And then, I mean, yeah, uh, that's all you can use it for. So basically it's just, you know, you eat it back in the ocean because it doesn't penalize you for doing that. So you might as well. The reason you call your truck the rust bucket. Yeah. Betcha. That's why rocks. I don't drive my truck that much in the winter time. Yep. If we do this, everything should connect up all perfect. We just got to redo the outputs, right? Sure. In a way. Well, that connected. Kind of. <laughs> Didn't connect everything, but that's all right. Didn't connect at all, actually. Wait a minute. So the high is the, the bottom one is the water intake. Unlock. Water intake would go into here. And then exhaust. What's up one? And we have plenty of capacity here for uh, exhaust. We don't have a scrubber here. We probably should, but you know. And then that needs to go into that line there, ideally somewhere in that neighborhood or over here. It says they do bridges, not all of the roads. Yeah, bridges are the big one to pre-treat, but the brine stuff kind of sucks in my opinion. All right, now we're back to waiting for parts, y'all, and copper is plummeting. What's going on with copper? We have a supply of copper. Are we just using a lot? Is that what it is? No, there's no coal here. Got no coal, chat. Yeah, so there's really not that much bridges around me. Well, true. Yeah, you live out in the boonies. I mean, if there is bridges, they're out like in the far country where BOT and all that stuff's not going to touch them. Out in the far country. Uh, those guys are digging in coal. It's just the dirt sliding in is not helping life right now. So. They just need to get past that dirt spot. I know. It's just kind of a little bit of a, a slow spot right here in the, in the whole mining process. Uh, what we can do, though, is take a couple excavators away from over there and bring a couple more excavators and more trucks try to get the job done here when in doubt put more excavators on the project right that usually helps usually usually <laughs> not all the time but usually Where's the big boy excavator? It is up here in the iron mine. That's right, right here. Big boy excavator, and I got a big boy, uh, big boy truck up here, which is trying to go where? Okay, I gotta get rid of that fuel fuel station. He keeps trying to come to that one, and obviously he can't get there with all the pipes that are here. So <coughs> I've built another one down here. It is plumbed throw a truck back on there and two trucks back on there um why they won't go to the closest fuel depot and is beyond me why he keeps trying to go up to the other depot and this one always has fuel because it's pipelined not big pipeline but it is pipelined oh so there's always fuel there um 
I don't know. Kind of weird. If you ask me. Kind of weird. But the good thing is a bunch of this gets to get out of here after a little bit. Uh, don't know where we're going to make our rubber. That's the one thing we, we might switch making rubber at all together, actually. Isn't there another recipe for rubber? Yeah, there is. But I don't think I'm going to have any couple. of that naphtha, am I? I don't think I'm going to have an output of that. I would like to use sulfur for it because actually... What a which, lot. What's I'm, your output down there at what your uh, fuel stuff is going to be? I don't really know. It was one of the tanks. Yeah. Uh, or open one tanks. One of the pipelines. Oh, open tanks. All right, hang on. We'll look. Boston, strong. You need to figure out how to get your mines to look that good. Uh, Lots of time. Lots of time. Um, so right there. I, Output is sulfur. Yeah. Sulfur, slag. What's in here, Limestone though? Limestone going in. What's in here? What would that be? Oh, the graphite. Yeah, sulfur, slag, sol uh, limestone going in. Uh, fertilizer, that's going to be an issue. I don't know what to do with fertilizer, too. I guess I get rid of my organic fertilizer thing that I have set up and just use the fertilizer, too, right? Hey, are they getting fuel from that, too, and delivering it? And then acid and uh, fuel gas. What, over here at the fuel station? Yeah, I noticed the uh, fuel truck came and dropped off fuel. I don't know. The other one came and got it. That's funny. I don't know, but just look at all the connections in here and the amount of balancers. Like, this is quite the system. And I don't even know if it's going to work yet. We'll figure that out as when we get there. Uh, and the amount of electricity all the connectors take too. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Trust me, I might have to uh might have to up some of that, I don't know. Or at least pause like half or a quarter of that. We'll find out. Cross that bridge. Okay, uh probably want a giant crude storage here. it right here and then some pipes okay, do we have two we do two will be enough for this right capacity wise I love they give you three outputs per like thing here it's like holy cow that's a lot. The only reason I'm building this out of twos right now is because I have parts for that, guys. I don't have level three parts. I have level two parts, though. Why don't I have level three parts? Are we just using that many, or what's the deal here? Probably took that many. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, all of our trucks are trying to get down here to these boilers that they can't actually build. They can't get there. Okay. Just, you know. Sure they can. <laughs> it's weird because sometimes they could reach. I know. Pretty far free stuff, and... and sometimes they can't. Yeah. But all those trucks are sitting there with parts on board, trying to get down there, which is not helping our trucking situation. Although it seems to be pretty stable right now. I think honestly, the problem is I just I'm using parts, and the system only produces them so fast, you know. So, I wouldn't mind upping all of that, to be honest, but for right now, it's okay. We'll hot build that, get that, get that going as well. We can actually use those two boilers. Oh, our, why is our wood supply almost empty? What? Um... Uh, that's a problem, huh? Why? You pause the ship? No. There's not enough out there to fill the ship. Yeah. 
I can still send them. It's just back with a partial load, not a full. Yeah, load. which means I need to upgrade the thing, right? That or increase your uh, pull that back up. Turn it up a little bit too. Yeah, I was gonna say you can bump that up. It takes more workers. Yeah. I think the other problem is I only have one of them, right? Yeah, there's only the. I've yeah. only come across one tree place. I got the outside. same. That's fun. Okay, that is good to go, though. We can go deliver that cargo to the boat. We can do that. Is your crew ship? If it run out of woods, that, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Pretty much because you need wood for your construction one. Yeah. Who's in construction primarily? Yeah. And then it's just a ripple effect from one to two to mm -hmm. two to three. Mm -hmm. Who's in something else? Uh, two would be electronics. Household goods, it's used in. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys trying to build now? What are you trying to build that you can't get to? You, you so can get to that, but okay. I don't want to hear it. Gosh. E oh my. Um, we need workers again, too. We need to increase our housing, too, which I don't have any room up there to do that, so I don't know what I'm doing there. That housing three, or? Oh, that's true. I do have housing three, you're right. Gets you by for a little bit. Uh, mine five down at a time. Mine five. Five layers, and then I'll put a wall, and then five, and then put a wall. Basically, you're putting the wall like down in the in the ground before you dig down next to it. And then what you do is you go over one square at a time. So it's hard to tell, but like one square at a time is what you do. You go over, 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 and you dig. You put it on the, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. One square at a time, though. But five layers down at a time. Well, hey, if nothing else, we got a great supply of iron or of a copper. And iron's doing well as well. It's just there's no darn coal right now. Bring on all the trucks. We have excavators that aren't moving. So more trucks. More trucks. That's what we need. Okay, the boat is back with wood. That is good. That's that's good. Um, the boat is delivered there. Do some fighting while you're out there. Why not? Must be the worker G. Exactly. Must be the worker G. You betcha. Yeah, okay. So it's a shame we got this whole thing built. We can't use any of it. Uh, we'll get there. He's just building, building the rest of the system out that we need here. Apparently we can't have trucks build this stuff, so we just gotta, you know, Unity build it. But it is what it is. But I think we'll have all the water that we need, right? I sure hope so, anyway. All the water we could use for a while. This will be easy. And just like that, that was easy. Those are tiny guys. Yeah, they were. They really were kind of tiny for some reason. Uh, yes, if you're going. Yeah, yeah, I would. That's what I did. I did five. So basically, I started from the surface, went down five. Got to where it was flat with that, and then I ran all the way down and around. Okay, and then dug that whole thing out. Well, first you got to start with the wall at, at, at the surface, right? Then you dig down five next to it, and then you move over one, one square, basically put your wall in, dig those five, move over a square, dig those five, and lather, rinse, and repeat. So, kind of a whole thing. 
You have the top wall, okay. But the thing I didn't understand was the whole moving over a square. And when I say a square, like a digging square, which, again, you can't see over there, but you move over one digging square, basically, at a time. That, that's the part I didn't understand until not that long ago, like, just the other day. Okay, Sarge finally explained it, where I understood it. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, that helps you there. What I really want to do is when I'm able to fill this mine in, I would like to redo like iron production and use the level two blast furnaces where they require all the, you know, you have to grind up your ores and they require gas too, don't they? I believe they do, don't they? Um, yeah, or they can. They're just, I guess that's not, it's just all, it has to be ground up. But I would like to get into all that eventually. It's just, I don't really, I guess I do have room back here for it if I wanted to. And I probably should, to be honest. Put a system here and just feed the stuff up into the, to the other rest of the system. Because really like iron, I never have any iron. I just don't. I did finally get smart and put a conveyor belt here. To run iron up to make my maintenance parts. Not that that system's pretty or anything, but I was panicking last night when I was, I ran out of maintenance last night and I was like, oh no. So finally I was like, you know what? It's getting a conveyor belt. So if nothing else, it'll have a constant supply of iron, assuming I'm making iron. So yeah, the good thing is I'm out of copper, but I am keeping up on uh, electronics at least a little bit. From the little bit of coal that is coming in. Coal is a struggle bus right now. There's so much dirt getting in there. <coughs> Where it's just it's it's just hard to get any coal going here. Steel and excavator from up here. Although iron's not that stable right now either, so the problem is they're getting into a bunch too where there's dirt and rock in there too so kind of difficult when you get in these spots you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard spot almost and stuff is not going like you want it to look at that boat chat that's the big one. first time we've seen the big one. that six yeah yep that's a six slaughter I like you still got room for whenever you are able to upgrade to the eight. Is eight the biggest one? I think that's like further down the deck tree. Dang. That's a big boat. Okay, we still need to get water. I guess I'm about to run a water pipe from... From all the way over here over to there, huh? What about uh, one pump? Or one sea pump. It can't be salt water though. It has to be fresh water. I like make it a one one pump, small little thing in the corner. I don't know how much water this system takes though, Trent. I'm assuming it's going to take a fair bit. Wouldn't you think, Sarge? Even to kick it off. It's not a kick it off kind of thing. It's a constant need. That needs 48 for that one boiler. And that needs 48. And that needs 48. And that needs 48. And that needs 40. That needs 48. Only a this is going to take pipe. a ton of water. At least it's going to take a constant supply, but remember, that's only a level two pipe going in. So that's all I'm going to put to it is a level two. Right. So. Yeah. Everything's cleaner than when I started. Is it, though, Bert? Yeah, because if we're, if we're saying this is our water input, yeah, that's only a level two. Because this system, this system is going to reclaim water, going to make water eventually, because it's going to have sour water that's going to put back into regular water. So, um, I would say we're going to run a level two pipe, and uh, hope it's hope it's good. Make it run for a little bit and then pause it. Yeah, the other thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put 
I think I'm going to put a giant tank right here in line. Because technically... And look at that, though. This isn't even keeping up with the farms. That's so bad, isn't it? Or maybe do I need to upgrade that pipe? Is that what's going on here? I'm pushing a fair bit of water here. Um, guess I could have to upgrade that pipe, huh? Although when it says idle and then working, idle, working, that means it's not full. These don't make as much water as I would kind of hope. But see, outputs are full. Yeah, we're going to upgrade the level 3 pipes on that whole side, I think. I think that's the strat. The problem is getting enough... Uh, Getting enough parts to do that is the problem. That is the problem right now. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Bert. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a giant water storage vessel here, though. I don't need my trucks to really get in here anyway, so away I want I want to get rid of you okay. giant storage device that's still set priority output okay really need to get that built and then if we come in here, because we don't really need to upgrade the top pipe, because that's the only handle on half the amount of water anyway. We just click on those. Should be good. Yeah, that is if, uh, you know, trucks probably can't get here and there's no parts to do this anyway. Only takes two parts. I'll hit the unity. Get it done. Now we should be cooking uh, with gas, right? <laughs> or something like that. I guess. Still doesn't seem like that much water. Let's see, it's still full down here. Do I need more pipes than that? I could just figure it out, huh? Um, or is that technically that could be? That causing our issue there if that little thing's still a level two. I feel like that just got faster. <laughs> they were better now, right? Well, not perfect, but better. I don't want to take half of those and put them in. I know. Input. I was just thinking that another pipe, right? Is that what you're on about? Yep. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Kind of looks like you're almost overloading that one pipe. I mean, mathematically, I could just figure it out really fast, but you know, that's that involves math. Yeah. So. And of course, I'm not smart enough to put the tank over far enough where I could sneak a lying in here real easy like you know can't you go three high on that single line oh i could if it wants to cooperate yeah they are problem is getting it to double back like that's kind of wonky <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? 
Help come on in. Go. Now it's not half, but to there was running pretty darn good. We could always reverse some of those to make them go that way too. I would say we're pretty solid now. Home. Good thing, uh, good thing there, John. Good thing, man. I would also pay attention to off of the tank. What? The output side of the tank? Yeah, because it looks like one of them is surging. Or is there a primary? Oh, there's a primary and a exactly. gap balancer right there. Never yeah. Mind. So basically, I want there always to be this tank full of water here. Yeah. Um, for the um, the boilers, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. It does. Okay. So that's why gotcha. I have that's why I have that going on there. Um. And then it just hey, runs up sense. and it runs all the farms and really the farms are, I don't know. I got to do something with this thing here because I'm making organic fertilizer, right? But that system over there is going to be making fertilizer too. And I'm going to have to do something with that. So I probably want to get rid of some of this. Right. Does that make sense? It does. Get rid of this and just use organic too and or use Fertilizer too, instead of organic fertilizer. That's what I think I'm gonna end up having to do. I mean, plus if that system down there produces so much fertilizer too. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how much it's gonna produce. That could just eliminate that whole organic fertilizer altogether. Yeah. Why are they complaining about food? Not enough variety for them. Is that what's going on here? I'm out of vegetables. So right now, yeah, I need to need to work on my food too because people are not happy in town. Um, okay, so we need a pipe. We need a pipe, y'all, to go from here. It's the fert level, yeah, it's true. I can I can crank up the fertilizer on the farms, right? But I'm still I think I think it still makes sense to get rid of the organic. And go to fertilizer too because, um, because I'm gonna have it. I don't have to have this system here. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could just take. Well, the excess corn. I'm making animal feed. I could, you know, get chickens, and just feed them. Instead, right now I'm digesting that into compost, and then I'm taking the compost to make it add water and making it into fertilizer. So that gets rid of water need over here too. And obviously, as you can tell, the fertilizer is just sitting here plumb full. So now I don't have fertilizer to these three farms here. I just never ran it around, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, water pipe. We're getting distracted here, chat. Water pipe level two. Um, what's going to be the cleanest way to get that out of here? Probably would just want to run like the coastline, right? Oh boy. Barbara Hannah, what's up? How you doing today? I think that's your best bet. I think come out of this tank and sneak this way. So that I can kind of... Yeah. And just kind of run. And then, you know, we can always, always move it later. Something's wrong or whatever. It's in the way of progress. Or like Trent said, we could actually put in desalinization over here if we really wanted to probably wouldn't try to keep my water somewhat together but definitely could oh 
Oh, we go just a little too close. We did, didn't we? Up like right there. It gives us that fuel output if we need, which I don't know that we're going to use that, but I might plumb that in to fuel the ship, but we'll see. Farber had an, I am, uh, I'm doing well. About ready to kick off this whole, uh, this whole build here in a minute. Although I don't have enough employees for this build. I mean, Although... I was just thinking, could you put a splitter in for the fuels to split the fuel? So the trucks get like half, the ship gets the other half. I well, all this pipe is doing is just running from the storage tank. Oh, okay. That's all it's doing. It's running from the storage tank down there. That's that's it. That's all that pipe's doing right now. So not really a huge uh, a huge deal there. Okay, so we are moving crude oil. Probably should upgrade that pipe, but Hello, why not? Upgrade them all. Now eventually we'll probably have to get more vessels down here for oil. Or does that actually make sense or not? I don't even know if that makes sense to bring more, more boats down here. I do have two other oil boats. Oh, this is not multiplayer, no. Oh, the other one up north? Yeah. Yeah, we can. We definitely can. Would it make sense to bring multiple vessels down here? It's not the right tool. This one. The Unity. That's the only thing I don't know is would it make more? I mean, eventually I will. I will finish filling this and I can bring another ship in right here. And supply oil to it, you know. And I don't know. Be over here somewhere. Maybe extend this out a little bit. Something like that eventually. I could have like multiple multiple ships coming in. I I'm the plan is to get rid of the oil production up north. Okay. That's the idea eventually. Okay, so we have crude flowing into this system now. And we have water. Now, nothing is working. Although I have a lot of it paused, but still, I would think like this system here would technically work, right? So it's missing steam. But I am going to have to get my steam, my boilers going somehow, right? Okay, so we turn it on and see if it brings any fuel gas here, right? Because it's not, it's, it's fuel gas is what I'm missing. water's there it's fuel gas is what i'm missing right now which i do have is there an input or a pipe for fuel gas there's an output i know there's that tank for fuel gas but I don't yeah know that's an output a, but i don't a, know if the, the trucks might be able to like reach that right okay let's uh but that's be a it might it might maybe that's why they were set to like allow trucks to to hit them you know work with truck will bring it okay which i should have fuel gas i'm getting it from my what am i getting fuel gas from where am i getting fuel gas from i know i'm getting it somewhere just don't are you know. getting it from uh your organic fertilizer? No, I'm inputting it there. I 
I don't know. We're getting it some, from somewhere up there. But hopefully the trucks will bring it. Otherwise, I don't know how you start the system up. It it definitely can be a little complicated there, uh, Farmer Annan, yes. Um, um, why did that pause that? Oh, I had a pipe pause. Don't want that. Because I would think, I mean, basically the system is just like the same thing. Just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Until you get down here. Which is, you know, whatever. But it's basically, it's the same thing. Just copy, paste it over and over and over again. So if we get one running... That'll be that'll be good. Oh, and plus it'll prime the uh, the lines at least. Here he comes, right here. Fuel gas. Here he comes. There you go. He got it. So they will hit the boilers. Those boilers, they will hit. Hey. Okay. Now that we might know. Be all you need. That should At be all one, we need. And it should just be enough to kickstart something. And you could possibly, since you have that kickstarted, turn off all the inputs. Everything else is turned off. The only ones that are on are fuel or the boilers. Seem. There we go. Now we have steam. And it should just go down the line here and start start making stuff. There we go. Dude, when this whole system gets kicked off, though, oh, oh. I don't know if we're gonna have enough oil to kick this whole system. <laughs> It probably won't all need to run, honestly. Oh, man. Can't wait. So that's fuel gas, and then that's going to go. That should return back and, and keep the boiler happy. I would assume. Here comes fuel gas back. Not enough, but some. We have uh, sulfur moving already in here. Oh boy, we're doing it, chat. We're doing it. It looked like all you need is that one jump start. Yeah, get that all running and we'll have the oil keep up. Probably not, Bert. Probably not. <laughs> Might be one of those things where we have to, like, Pause, except for the boilers, and try to get the boilers all filled up. I mean, we have oil here. So let's refine it, you know? We definitely have oil. We definitely have water. We're, we're popping off different systems here, so that's good. Problem is, we don't have enough workers to actually... Uh, Unleash all of it, probably. But we're getting close. We're getting real close. We're getting some diesel in the diesel tank. It's surging, but fuel stations filled up. So what we need to do is allow and put that to a higher priority for now. Allow truck input. to kick the system off and then I would think once we kick it we should be self-sufficient right and there's a boiler over here I guess we'll kick that one as well hopefully trucks can get to him I don't know we'll see no, it's definitely going to be a good problem if I don't have enough oil yeah to keep this all going Definitely a good problem. I almost feel like that's almost a two or three ship plant. Yeah, but you gotta upgrade your oil rigs or really crank up your oil rigs to keep it all all moving. I mean, I don't have any problem as soon as I get this corner filled out bringing another ship in here. Actually, I'll try to put one down here and then I can put one on the side too, maybe. But like, 
we're chilling on oil and here comes the, the vessel again. Oh. We are doing it, y'all. Only been like hours in the process, you know? Uh, true. Yeah, it's a waste of people. Yeah, it, it is a lot of employees if you think about it. It is a whole lot of employees if it's not uh, if it's not running. But at the same time, if we fill up on fuel, then we fill. Oh, we already. Get, I don't. What do I do with the graphite right now, Sarge? I'm gonna have to do something with that soon. And the sulfur slag. Obviously, we know where that goes. That gets dumped. Fertilizer, I'm gonna have to do something with the acid. I actually I already have system for that. Fuel gas is fine as well. Yeah. Save it. Okay, were they able to get to this boiler yet? No. Graphite gets you. What does Look it on. get? What does it get used in? Higher arc furnaces. Oh, see, maybe I need to work like on that. Like your arc twos. That, that's... But there's nothing... Okay. Interesting. <laughs> and again, that was like the... I would talked about doing that anyway. Be doing a furnace setup somewhere, maybe to get more uh, iron. I thought it was used. I just know what I'm assuming the pro if I get full on graphite, that's a problem, right? Oh, that's turning my CO2 into okay, that's interesting. CO2 into graphite. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that. Okay, so it'll just take over invented ozone if I run full on graphite then. Yeah. Not that I want that, because that's a lot, I feel like. To hit the ozone. <laughs> uh, but we're up and running. I mean, not not fully on this, because I don't have the workers, but... Um, we're, we're, we're right there, you know? We need, we need more housing too. Need more housing, y'all. Middle vent, yeah. Where have you used the same system? Like the blueprint? Okay. But I would say we're, uh, we're, uh, we're chilling for now, right? On this? We should be okay. Okay, I got gotcha. Water supply is looking solid. Finally, we actually have extra water over here, so that's good. Then if we come back over yonder here, obviously crude is great right now. Trucks are coming down here and fueling up. So I like to see that. Now, at what point do I need to turn off Oh, we're out of power. Uh oh. Why are we out of power? Why are we out of power? And there's the next issue. But there, I, I don't got know. enough production capacity. Yeah, I know. It, it's just blurp there for see. There it goes again. Yeah, it might have. Well, I tell you what, probably is one of them that is. On the requirement side, yeah, we bump up, and that's got to come up to speed. Yeah, once it comes up to speed, you're good. Like, and then if the here. requirement drops off, well, it's gonna slow down. Yeah, I have enough power. I just don't have enough power. Because <laughs> my diesels are. Or at least well, that's my take. The diesels were running. <laughs> Yeah, something just needed to spool, I would say, right? Because it's not always revved up. I wouldn't mind dropping another system in here, like this is Sarge's system. I wouldn't mind that. Not to worry, I'm going to be working on a nuclear. 
Oh boy. That just means more fun. I think I'm right there too. Mm, nuclear. Would just be nice to produce electricity as well. Yeah, some people didn't realize that that nuclear doesn't create electricity. Nuclear just creates steam. It's just a different steam. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. I'll be honest. Big steam. I've not messed with it, so. Just needs to blow up. See, I feel like these aren't spinning, like, at all. They're... Uh, I feel like, I don't know why these aren't just, like, cranked up, rocking. Definitely not a water issue. Definitely not a coal issue. Have it on. Do what? You have it unlocked. So, um, the nuclear. I just haven't started uh, messing with it. I got you. For every fuel rod. Yeah. Or every cycle. No. Two hundred and eighty. Wow. That's a fair uh, bit, huh? Let me change. Uh, let me change over to what you're. I don't think it's a pipe as you. I think it's just it's it's just steam, and it takes a second to spool. Everything has to spool up. I mean, I, we're not having, we're not full on like our output. These are not full. Um, the water set to go back as priority, uh, right back into the system. Actually, got double uh, thing here to make this all work. You know what I mean? Uh, to balance it all out. So I yeah, think so. Per sixty seconds, it'll put out. 288 units. Wait, it's what is it? For, per 60 is For what? every 60, yeah. 288. Steam? Steam. Oh my god. I'm only doing 48 every 60 on these spoilers. Yeah. Huh? Wow, that's a lot of steam, man. Yeah, so <laughs> my thought is, is with balancers and all that, you're going to have to have this set up to where you can dump excess real quick. Yeah. And, yeah, because you. But don't... also on that, you have to have a 288 input on water. Wow. A lot of water, too. Oh, hey, look, our coal issues are finally fixed, chat. There's a full bin. The big thing is, is you just don't want the steam to build up. Yeah. Sit there because yeah. then you'll, you'll overheat and you shut can't. off until it cools off and. Okay, and you can't put... Yeah, that was a dumb question. Never mind. Don't chat. I didn't ask that. It's okay. Should I get some solar farms going? I got a few. I'd have to build It them. takes an awful lot to produce Yeah. Uh, anything. Oh, I have the, the electric boiler chat. Which, again, is fine if you have a bunch of steam, right? Or, uh, not steam solar the ones to back up yeah but that's what the balance or the, the the balancers are for right okay we got to do some of our housing we are at capacity um do we have is this this is already housing three. Oh boy yay that fun gotta keep expanding town then I kind of don't want town to be down there, but I don't really know where else to put it. I, because that's like a lot of stuff if you do that. You gotta, do, which actually for food and water, it might be okay to bring town over here, like up. But there's not enough space. I'd have to like do a massive leveling project first, uh, which is fine. I don't mind doing that for food. It would make sense. My food's right here. I have water here. I would just have to get sewage uh, sewage treatment going over here, which can be done. Maybe that's the goal long term is move town up here on the hill. But then not too far because we do have iron we're going to be mining there. Up here, maybe just like right here. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, but anyway, so on our outputs on this system here, we gotta we gotta pay attention to this. Um, the graphite we're not gonna worry about right now. The uh, sulfur. I gotta come up with something to do with sulfur because we're full up north too. So we gotta we gotta come up with something we can do. Um, with sulfur. We gotta use that for something like soon. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. why don't I see it? Where's it at? There it is. Okay, so yeah, rubber, right? So the problem is, what are we gonna use? Diesel? Diesel? Because I don't have other products. Burn it? Burn what? Sulfur. Burn it? Yeah, solid burner. You may kill my people? Oh, I'm just saying, there's an option. Well, actually, the other option would be uh, turn into slag. Just get rid of it. Acid, slag, hurt. Yeah. That, that too. Uh, or some aren't soybean you making, and uh, ethanol water as well? and limestone and stuff like that. You can make. No. Why do they put limestone in tofu? That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't think I wanted to go, go down to and sulfur. Why are we putting sulfur in tofu? Sulfur and limestone. Yeah. I think honestly the best bet would be uh we should have extra diesel. So what if we change our rubber production? Actually we bring it down here because we have diesel and sulfur here. And we'll make our rubber down here instead of up there. Right? Yeah, because if you use the sulfur, you're not going to be producing uh, wastewater anymore. That's true. Because the other option for rubber is to burn coal, and it makes the sour water, which you have to treat, which if we're not doing that, then we're going to be good. So I think we do that. We'll use diesel and sulfur to make rubber down um, here somewhere. The only thing I will say, though, is there's actually no sulfur output yet. So... Now we're not running. The system's not running currently. Full on steam. Full on sour water. Why is everything full? Wait, what treats our sour water in this whole that whole mess? Is that this stuff up here. This right here. That's missing steam. I got to be able to get fuel gas to that guy right there, I think. Right? I think that's the issue right but now. There's two things there yeah, that, are two paused. Things that are paused. So those are outputs for um, extra steam. Okay. You know, one, one, one CO2 and one steam output. But basically what it boils down to me is I need I need fuel gas to that boiler right I can, and I can't see how it's not getting there yet check outputs they're not tied in sulfur sulfur is having an issue here yeah sulfur's going into this thing or coming out of this thing out of that thing where's why is that line coming Yeah, your sulfur's full, right? Okay. Why is that? Well, full? I mean, in the blueprint, it looked like he had this connected to something else. So that's probably what he was doing was typing that to something else. Well, here's the sulfur line right here. Okay, hang on. Let's... Yeah, that's for a different output. It doesn't connect. That just stops right there, doesn't okay, it? No, it goes on. right there, right there. I think he left a piece of conveyor belt out is all it is, right? Yeah, connect from there to there.
All right.